Fill the minds of your enemies with loving kindness. For all practical purposes, if all of your enemies were well, happy and peaceful, they would not be your enemies. If they were free from problems, pain, suffering, affliction, neurosis, psychosis, paranoia, fear, tension, anxiety, etc., they would not be your enemies. Your practical solution to having enemies is to help them to overcome their problems so you can live in peace and happiness. In fact, if you can, you should fill the minds of all your enemies with loving kindness and make all of them realise the true meaning of peace. Therefore, don't fight with enemies. If enemies attempt to kill us and we say we need to protect our homeland and kill them, isn't it ridiculous? So you can live in peace and happiness. The more they suffer neurosis, psychosis, fear, tension, anxiety, etc., the more trouble, pain and suffering they can bring to the world. If you could convert a vicious and wicked person into a holy and saintly individual, you would perform a miracle. Let us cultivate adequate wisdom and loving kindness within ourselves to convert evil minds to saintly minds. When you hate somebody, you think, let him be ugly, let him lie in pain, let him have no prosperity, let him not be right, let him not be famous, let him have no friends, let him, after death, reappear in an unhappy state of deprivation, in a bad destination, in perdition. However, what actually happens is that your own body generates such harmful chemistry that you experience pain, increased heartbeat, tension, change of facial expression, loss of appetite for food, deprivation of sleep, and appear very unpleasant to others. You go through the same things you wish for your enemy. Also, you cannot see the truth as it is. Your mind is like boiling water, or you are like a patient suffering from jaundice to whom any delicious food tastes bland. Similarly, you cannot appreciate somebody's appearance, achievement, success, etc. As long as this condition exists, you cannot meditate well. When you generate an evil thought on anyone, of course this mainly refers to enemies, you suffer first. If you can help these bad guys to overcome their problems, you will be more peaceful and joyful. If someone is grateful to you, you will feel more joyful. If someone hates you, you must feel uncomfortable. If there is still someone hating us in this universe, what should we do? We should resolve it with loving kindness. It's just like Kung Fu fighting, where someone strikes you with a technique while you reply with another technique. He sends energy of hatred while you reply with energy of loving kindness. The energy of loving kindness can transform the energy of hatred. If your loving kindness is strong enough, you can transform his hatred. Only by transforming his hatred can you reduce the pain brought by him. Because his hatred might influence yours. Before your seed of hatred completely disappears, he can always hurt you 
and his hatred can trigger your hatred. Since there is still seed of hatred in your eighth consciousness, so upon his hatred arises, your seed of hatred is triggered instantly, which hurts you too. At that time, if you can simply transform him with loving kindness, you will succeed. This is practice. Without loving kindness, you can't truly carry out your meditation.